Hello, hello, hello. This is Tom from Tom and Ruth Philippine Adventures here in sunny Mindanao. It's probably about 90 degrees, uh, maybe a little hotter. It's, it's humid outside. It's really hot outside. I'm outside uh, sitting next to uh, my wonderful brand new garage. Uh, it's finished. We'll do a video on it. We have to clean it up. That is uh, a panel they put. Uh, but you'll see it all later. Anyway, today is expense time for September 2019. Expenses. Now this video is something everybody always says, hey, man, I can't wait for it. <laughs> Not really. But I do it because I have so many people ask me for it. <clears throat> there are so many people in the United States of America who say, hey, I want to move to the Philippines, but they don't know how much going, how much does it cost where I live in Mindanao. So if they were coming to Mindanao where I live approximately, uh, there are approximately, so when I moved here, uh, there was a few expats, a few uh, people that actually moved here, American, foreigner, French, that was here. Uh, now, uh, I say a few, probably uh, under five or six or eight people. Uh, now, uh, <clears throat> just, just what we've been doing and showing a little bit more about the Philippines, this, that, and other, we have had probably, it's probably 30 or 40 people that's actually moved into the area. And some are on my subscribers, and some uh, actually live here, and some uh, don't go on YouTube anymore because they have a beautiful wife and it keeps them busy with the farm and things they have. But anyway, expect, ex expense of September 2019. Now this is where I live, not where everybody else lives. <clears throat> now remember, I don't have any rent. So that is a big factor. So minus, minus rent of 100, 200, I mean, excuse me, add rent of 100, 200, or 300, depending on where you want to live. You can add that on. I lived in town for $100 in an apartment. You, I have a video on it, one of my very first videos I ever did. So you can actually look at that apartment. It's still available. I still rent it out. I don't know if it's available now. He has six apartments like that, and he built some more apartments on the other side of town. And uh, uh, that one across town is really nice, by the way. So my electric here in the Philippines this past month is $70. Go figure. Weird. Before, it's 100 and change. Now it's $70 and she made 11 cakes in one week. I don't know. I don't know. My solar is the same. I have solar on. I have one point, I have 1,200 watts on the roof and we keep that on uh, eight hours a day. I had to turn it off just now. I don't know. I have to check the sun. I think the sun is changing or my, uh, as you know, uh, the trees, this, that, and others affecting it. I don't have any trees. I just cut a bunch of trees. So I don't know. My food this past month was $160. I threw in a hundred dollars in miscellaneous. Now why I did that is, why not? Now this hundred dollars miscellaneous, this is like uh, R needed 20 pesos for this, Chichi needed 50 pesos, we have a hundred pesos for this. So a hundred dollars is 5,000 pesos. We did not spend that in miscellaneous, but I threw it in anyway. Internet, three internet companies, PLDT, Globe, and uh, Excelcom, three internet companies. Probably the only guy in the Philippines has three internets. All wireless, uh, seventy dollars. That's not bad really. Three internets, seventy bucks. TV is ten dollars. Cost me ten dollars a month to watch TV. And I have what's called G set. Water, three dollars. This is uh, non drinkable water for me. They drink it, but non drinkable for me. Uh, uh, it's shower water, uh, toilet water, potable water, things like that. So you can't really uh, I don't drink it. I, now, what I do with this particular water is I boil it. And I boil it for, uh, you know, three, four minutes, let it set, let it cool down, and then stick, uh, stick it in the jug and throw it in the fridge. Sometimes I put it through another filter. But here lately, the last uh, six or eight months, I've been lazy and not done that. I feel a lot better, by the way. Since I'm not buying filtered water in town because they don't change the filters. And not everywhere changes the filters. They say they do, but they don't. I did a uh, video on that. Taxi, okay. Taxis, a very important factor, taxis. Taxi would be tricycle, I go to town, back and forth, just that. Uh, and uh, we have our motorcycles, we take, sometimes we don't take them. Taxis, I threw in $20 this month. I, I, we kept up with it to a certain extent because it's 20 peso to go to town, 20 peso to go back home. I don't have to use it anymore, so we're sad savings there because she has door-to-door -door service. Her our, our school, her school itself, 3,000 peso this month, so $60 for her school, her private school, and that is the bus, and that is 1,000 peso, that includes the bus, and includes 1,000 peso 
for school, uh, things like that, school activities. They're, they're a surcharge. So $60, that's what it is every month, $60 every month. It costs me about 35,000 peso, not counting the extracurricular activities that she does. And what that means, sometimes she'll have sports, or we had to buy a uniform for her. So add another, uh, you know, $200 really into that. So uh, 35, so seven, eight, eight, nine hundred dollars for her to go to private school. Is it worth it? Yes. Unbelievable. Guess what? They speak English and she's reading school books from uh, just actual school books that uh, the old-fashioned days where you actually had the answer right here. You read this, the answer is to make you read it, and they don't have that in public school. Projects. Uh, I threw an extra $20, uh, like I said, in projects. Travel. Now, what I mean travel? I don't know why I put that in there. Uh, $10 travel. I don't know. Just figure that in. Out to eat. $60. We spent $60 out to eat. Uh, this last month, and I kept up with the tickets, so $60 out to eat. That includes going to Ala Turka and have him deliver food here. We had him deliver food, and it was $7, things like that. So $580 is the grand total this month that I spent on here in the Philippines. That's me, uh, myself, and all, our, all electric, all bills paid. Now, if you were to include what I spent this month, let's just go ahead and say, what else did you, Tom, what else did you buy this month? <laughs> What I bought was I bought went and bought uh, I bought extra things. I ordered some chairs, some fold, foldable chairs that we could take camping chairs on trips. I bought uh, some more solar lights, some more solar panels, things like not for for the garage. Some solar lights for around the house because I'm do the fence. I bought some uh, uh, concrete and things like that. So uh, that's not included in this. But me, down to earth living, to live here in the Philippines. Now, I don't need the concrete. I don't need the solar lights. But this is me living here and living comfortably. Well, oh, we went to the movies one time, and that's what that travel is, $10. I remember now. Uh, we went to the movies. We uh, caught the bus. Cost us, uh, uh, what is it, a uh, dollar each to go there, a dollar each to come back. And then we went to the movies, $10. So, hey, how can you, where can you go for $10 to the movies? Well, you can here. And we went and saw uh, one of uh, our uh, favorite movies, cartoon type. So, we, we started, uh, so that was the $10. So, if you were to say, Tom, did you, that's just, uh, he didn't do anything. He sat at the house every day, things like that. Well, no, it's not true. Uh, I did stuff. We went out to eat. We went to town. This includes going to the market. That's all in my food budget. This includes going to buy and extra things. And it even included uh, uh, Chiche going to buy and some OK, 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 OK clothes at the, at the market. She bought her and our some outfits. It cost a grand total of $5. So I included all that. But if you were to add the garage, now I did my expense on the garage, and I'll have no, I'm going to do another video on that. If you add the garage and the concrete form for the garage, if you add the garage and the concrete form for the garage, believe it or not, my garage, uh, believe it or not, you're gonna, you're gonna, you're not gonna believe it. It's 500 bucks. That does not include the uh, the the sandwich panels. That includes the the steel, the welding, the labor, and everything's 500 bucks. Uh, I will do a video on this, uh, so uh, you'd be surprised on how much everything was on that. It's not that not that bad. In fact, you could build a house like our my expandable house here like that. So $580, the garage, just say $500 on the garage, it's been $1,080. Now that's, uh, that includes extracurricular activities, that includes me buying solar lights and things like that. So, I, you know, it's like, um, I don't know, we, we, I, I went and bought some gas for the car, I bought a, uh, this stuff, you know. But the insurance is already paid once a year, uh, my LTO is paid once a year. Uh, all that stuff is paid in January. I do all my bills in January and I pay the bills for the year. So, my expenses for for two, uh, September 2019 was uh, $580. So, uh, and add $500 to that for the garage if you want to add it, but there's no sense in it because what does the garage have to do with expenses for September? So, $580, let's say $600 USD. <clears throat> That's really not that bad. Uh, so, someone, uh, if someone wants to email me, they can email me at young.tom23 and I'll get some information to them. A lot of people ask me on housing. You're looking for houses. Uh, there are plenty available. 
Uh, all you got to do is go on Facebook Marketplace and you can get some rental houses, things like that. So thank everybody for watching. Please subscribe and hit like.